attend SUNY Maritime University in New York and my project is based on a comparison of digestion rates among three different cyanists, Redrum, Croker, and Silver Perch. So right now in the lab, we have 12 tanks set up filled with Croker fishes because we didn't get any Redrum or Silver Perch yet. So we're only running the experiment on the Croker fishes for now until we get the Redrum and the, the Silver Perch. So, to carry out this experiment, we have a very specific procedure. So 12 tanks were set up in the wet lab, which I am in right now, filled with croaker fishes in which cardboard were placed in between the tanks so the fishes cannot see each other and become stressed. So to carry out this experiment, we set up 12 tanks behind us, all of the same size, and each of them consists of a croaker fish at the moment because we didn't run the test for the silver perch or the red drum as yet. So a prey that is caught out within the parameters of Dolphin Island out in the water or the marsh is assigned to each tank and before they're fed to the fish they're weighed and measured. So. A digestion time will be assigned to each tank randomly and after the, the prey is fed to the fish, based on the digestion time of the specific tank, the fish will be taken out of the tank and then euthanized with a mixture of water and MS-22. So once the chemical puts the fish to sleep, we'll put them in a cooler so that it stops the digestion ab abruptly and then, then it will be transferred to the lab where it will be dissected and the stomach will be removed so that we could assess the digestion stage based on Dr. Baker's thesis, which ranges from stage one to stage six. So this experiment is important because we want to figure out where the foraging or feeding habitats of the three cyanids are located in the Little Bay area so that we could further protect them and preserve them so that the last longer for the fish so they could feed more. Thank you.